On this episode of AC Designs Garage, I'm going to show you how to get the rust off your classic VW bumpers with a little bit of steel wool and elbow grease. Coming up. Alright guys, here's our subject today. This is my 1966 VW Beetle. It's got all the original bumpers and stuff on it. And they're, they're pretty bad pitted and rusty and stuff, so... We're going to give it a shot with this steel wool and see if it'll bring out. I saw other guys bring out some, you know, very light rust on stuff, but we're going to see how it does on the real bad stuff. So you can see it's, it's pretty bad. We're going to do this back bumper and also my hubcaps. We're going to do those two. They got a lot of rust on them. We're going to see what we can do with them. All right, here's what we're using this the steel wool you can get this at most big box stores like lowe's home depot stuff like that but this is the grade we call it four alt it's four zeros it's the fine it's the finest that you can get but it it's not supposed to scratch your chrome and stuff because it's super fine and what we're going to use on it we're going to put a little water on it to help it uh basically what the water does is cleans the rust out when it gets into the steel wool and then we're going to come back and uh polish it up with some mother's mag aluminum polish and after this you'll need to put a coat of wax on it because where there is rust that's bare metal underneath so as it gets wet it'll do it again so if you can put some wax on it it'll help you uh preserve the finish a lot longer all right here's that steel wool this stuff's pretty inexpensive i'm thinking it's two or three bucks a bag and there's probably i don't know they're individual in here there's probably 10 or so of these in there and like I said, they're pretty cheap. I'll link these in the description and the mothers and all that stuff that I use in here. It, it goes to helps out the channel on my affiliate program at no cost to you guys. It's just the easy place y'all can find this stuff. Click on it, buy it from Amazon if y'all want to. So all we're going to use is just regular old bottled water on this steel wool. And we're going to see what it does. So you're going to find out as I do. This is pretty bad stuff. I would say this is probably the extreme of the extreme. So I'm just going to pour a, a little bit of water just to dampen this. A little bit more on here. And we're going to start sand. Wow. This stuff really does work great. I mean, that's like one second of scrubbing. Are you kidding me? Now, I noticed the deeper stuff is still showing up and we might have to flip it around, but we're going to keep digging on her until we make her look as good as we can. I mean, I'm not really putting a whole lot of pressure on this. And these are the factory bumpers from 1966. Man, if it'll clean these bumpers up, I can't wait to see what it'll do on my, my hubcaps. I'll show you doing those also. Let's take your regular old dry rag. Yeah, gravy. All right, guys, moving in closer. Check that finish out. I mean, that's that's crazy. That's what we we was like five seconds ago to this. I mean, it's not perfect, but pretty impressed. And there's no scratches in it. It wasn't already there. On these bumpers are pretty rough. We'll uh, do the overriders and these pieces here too. But let's go ahead and finish it up. We'll do half the bumper, and I'll show you the difference in it. But man, look at that. I mean, no longer than that took. I'm sold on it. Put a little bit more water on here. That's crazy. I never thought it worked this easy. I mean, I had a feeling it would work, not this fast. I mean, I can have me a set of pretty decent looking bumper for two bucks and what the mothers and stuff cost. I mean, under $10, you're going to have a set of decent look of bumpers again instead of these rotten things it'll probably come back after a while like i said if you keep it waxed up and stuff it'll keep your shine for a while but you know how to fix it now i mean this is a great solution instead of having them re-chromed on the cheap eventually we will i'm gonna restore this car eventually and repaint it back to factory color and stuff but then we'll get us some get these bumpers re-chromed now like these real bad places it's not really I guess if I get down in it real good, it'll, yeah, it, you just got to really get in it 
And I'll tell you, I hope you guys are impressed as much as I am because those things look like garbage before. Let's get on the overriders. Now these with the real light rust, they clean up quick. Back here behind us. As you can see on the rag, I mean, it's taking this rust out. We may have to do this several times. I ain't thought about that, but maybe a couple, a couple extra times on it and we'll get it knocked out pretty good. But we're going to we'll dry this off and then we'll go over it with that mother's aluminum polish. I think it'll help bring out some of it. It's not going to take any of the rust off, I don't think, but it'll help polish up any of the tarnished uh, chrome that's left on here. All right, guys, here's the mothers I use, just the paste, uh, aluminum, stainless polish, whatever you want to call it. I've used this stuff for years, not sponsored by these guys, but I love this stuff on all our aluminum wheels and on the hot rods and stuff. This just stuff works great for everything, so I just use it. You can use whatever you want as, like, aluminum polishes, but I like this stuff pretty good. I'll try and see. I was even thinking about maybe if you had a little buffing wheel or something, maybe you could put it on and put some mothers on it and it might bring the uh, luster up a whole lot more. But I think it looks awesome. And you can tell when this stuff's working, it starts turning the rag black. You can see we're pulling out contaminants and oxides and stuff off of it. So it's not perfect, but man, does it look a whole lot better than it did? Yeah, you can see as it's taking more stuff out of it. Like I said, we keep doing it more and more, they'll probably get a lot slicker and slicker and slicker and slicker. Man, look at that gloss coming out. And that overrider really looks good. I mean, check that out. Let me grab a terry cloth also with these. The pits, this this is one of the little shop rags, like Scott brand shop rags. They work pretty good. It. It's kind of smearing the mud. Let me get a, a microfiber rag or a terry cloth and we'll see if we can get the rest of this residue off. Yeah, here's just an old terry cloth. I think that's pretty amazing guys let me get zoom back on this thing and uh show you how it looks that's less than five minutes i've been working on this thing all right let's get moved to the the hubcaps and stuff we'll get them ready because i got my new wheels and tires all mounted up and stuff and i'm gonna do a video on that putting them on the car do a reveal on my freshly painted wheels All right, guys, here's my hubcaps. They're, they're in pretty bad shape. You can see, I don't know how good you can see the rust on them, but we're going to try to clean. This is probably the worst one out of the bunch. I may I may tape half of it so you can really see the the difference in how bad it actually looks because these things are pretty rough. The rest of them are fair, like this one here has has some pretty bad pitting on it. It's, I don't know how much will come out of this, but let's see how it does. And I, me being a tight wad, I'm just going to use the same one we had over on the car, so... We'll see if it stops working. We'll just use a nut. And so we'll throw a little water in it and see how she does. Let that soak while I get my tape. Come right on the points there. Wes, right down the middle. All right, we're going to work on this side here. Right on that line. Yeah, I may get the bulk off and go to a new one because the, the real rough stuff is not doing as well on it. So I guess I might have to use the new stuff. Oh well.
It is coming really good though. I mean, I can tell the majority set for the, the big stuff. May try it just dry on the, the real rough stuff and see if it makes any difference. I'm not sure that it will, but we can try it. Dry it off. You know, right now it looks a hundred times better than it did. Let me get a brand new dry piece out. See if it works on the bad dude stuff. Yeah, it seems to work a little better on the rough stuff. So maybe that's going to be our trick. If you have any really bad rusted stuff, just get in there with your finger and work it and get all you can out. Then we'll go back over it with the, with the wet. There's some bad right there. We'll just run it. Here's the worst of it down here. Go back to the white stuff. You can see here, I'm going to get out of there. I'll be doing my middle wheel here. All right, we're going to get the bulk off and dry it off, and I'm going to untape it, and we're going to see how good this thing mess up before I rust my welding table all up. You can already see without me pulling that thing off how good it looks, but I'm gonna make sure she's good and dry. We'll do our mothers too. That way we got a 100% shine we're gonna get out of this thing. I'll just use this terry cloth to put my mothers on with. Yeah, I was scared I was going to have to buy me some new hubcaps, but I think these are going to pass for this season anyways. We're wanting to get out and cruise it right now. It's already 1st of November. It's getting a little cool out. and As many of you know, Volkswagens don't have the greatest the heaters, but we're going to get out and cruise it as long as we can. Then we're going to break it out first thing next spring. We're going to try to hit a bunch of shows and stuff with it. Man, alive, that mother really brings this stuff alive. I think that's part of the trick. I think you need to use both. You need to use the mothers. And you need to use the steel wool. Man, that's crazy. All right, let's do the magic reveal here. I'll get you a little closer to it so you can. All right, guys, we're gonna peel this tape off and see the drastic difference that we have after that work. But man, that mother, this mother's right here. That's crazy you can see it in here. That mother's right there really helps bring up the shine. I mean, the steel wool does all the work, but the mother's helps it. And what we're gonna do after I get all these done, we're gonna wax it good with a carnauba wax and we'll show you the finished product when I pop the wheels on in the next video. So make sure y'all subscribe and stay tuned for that. Here we go. Let me get down there. All right. Man, that's night and day there. Check it out. I mean, that looks like garbage. A lot of people probably throw these things away and get new ones, but... And like I said, there's still a little pitting and stuff in it, but... I'm pretty impressed with it. That's crazy. All right, guys, remember, four-alt steel wool, Mother's Mag aluminum polish, and just some regular old bottled water, and a couple terry cloths and rags clean up with. 
and that'll get all your chrome restoration done on your bw beetles and anything else you got c10s whatever it works good we may try it on some different things because i build all kind of stuff c10s hot rods Volkswagens. that we do everything so hope y'all enjoyed that little trick hope it helped you out Hi right, guys, hope y'all enjoyed this video on taking this rust off of these old classic BW bumpers here off my 66 uh, and the, also the hubcaps. They turned out really amazing. Wasn't sure the hubcaps were going to be that good considering how bad the chrome. Those are aftermarket caps, but these original bumpers really come out good. So if you like that kind of stuff, make sure you like, subscribe, and share it out. We're going to be doing more content on my Volkswagen since we're going to get it running. We uh, stripped the wheels last week. That was my video, and me and Dad did, and... I took them and painted them and mounted up the tires and some white wall porta walls on. So we're going to put them on this week. That should be a video next week. So make sure you check that out if you want to see it on the car. Get it running, cruising around, laid out on the ground. Hope y'all enjoyed it. God bless. We go.